am Vaishali. In my previous videos, I explain a detailed view of graphical problem. If uh, graphical method, if the LPP problem is the maximization problem with two constraints, how we can apply the graphical method? In the last view, in the last um, video, I explained you about that. In my this current video, I am going to explain you about graphical method but when maximization problem contain three constraints, okay? In a short five points, okay? The first thing is you have to convert the given constraints into equation. Now, I have already written it in the form of the equations. Equation 1, you have to remove this sign and write the equal to sign. Equation 1, equation 2 and equation 3, okay? Now, after that, you have to attain the value of the coordinates like x1 and x2 by solving them. Putting x1 0 in equation 1, we get the value of x2 as 1000. Put x2 0 here, we get the x1 as 2000. Now, when x1 is 0, x2 is 1000. When x2 is 0, x1 is 2000. Okay, these are the points for equation 1. Okay, now... Taking the equation number 2, taking the equation number 2, put x1 as 0, we get x2 as 1500, put x1 as x2 as 0, we get x1 as 1500, x1, 0, x2 will be 1500, when x2 is 0, x1 will be 1500, so these are the coordinates for the second equation. Okay, now the equation 3 is an equation which is parallel to x1 axis because x2 is equals to 600, x1 is equals to 0 throughout this line. This line will be the straight line which is parallel to x1 axis. So, x1 will be 0 here and x2 will be 600. So, this is the second step completed. Now, we have to plot these points on the graph as I have already done so that you are getting some type of the overview here. This is the x2 axis and x1 axis. Now as the points are till 2000 so I have marked it from 00, 0 which is origin point till 2000 on x1 axis as well as on x1 axis and x2 axis. Okay. Now plotting the first equation. First equation contain the point 0, 000, and 2000 0. So this is the point where x1 is x1 x1 is 0 throughout this line. Okay. So 0 thousand is the first point and 2000 0 is the second point. So this line will be the line for equation 1. Okay. Now the second is 0 and 1500. So 0 and 1500 is this point and 1500 and 0 will be this point. So this line will demonstrating the equation 2. Okay, I have already marked as 2. Now x2 is equals to 600 is the line parallel line where x2 is equals to 600. Okay, this is the parallel line. Now I have already plotted all the three lines. Now you very well know whenever the constraint contain the sign less than we have to shade the below region in the first quadrant. What we have to shade? We have to shade the below region in first quadrant. Okay. In first quadrant, we have to shade the below region. What happens? Here we have to shade the below region. So, this will be the region for this equation. This will be the region for this line. And this will be the region for this line. But for the feasible region, we have to find the common region. Okay? So, what will be the feasible region here? If I plot this all like this. What will be the feasible region? Feasible region is the common region as I told you earlier. Physical region is the common region. So, this, this and this is the common region. These are the points called the corner points which help in forming the physical region. So, I am marking it as 0, okay, as A, as B, as C and as D. So, these are the points which are the corner points which make the feasible region. I am telling you again, these are the constraints contain the sign less than. If the constraint contain the sign less than, you have to mark the lines on the graph. Those lines cover the below region of 
below region of the line in the first quadrant as this is the first line this is the third line so below region will be covered similarly second line and similarly first line out of this all you have to cover only the common region as in mind this will be the common region okay this inside portion will be the common region okay this will be the common region after attaining the common region you have to mark them in the form of corner points i have marked them as 0 a b c d okay so what is the feasible region here feasible region is 0 a b c d 0 a b c d this is the feasible region okay this is the feasible region now the corner points step number four the last step in which you have to find the optimal solution for attaining the optimal solution you have to write the corner points with respect to corner points you have to find the value of z for that corner point here the corner point is zero o which is origin point is zero zero so for that z zero what is the value of z zero when we put zero zero here we get z as zero okay now a is 1500 and 0. Now put 1500 here. So 3 into 1500 and plus 0. This is equals to 4500. Zero, zero. Okay. Fine. Now next. B. B is this point. This is having the coordinate as 1500. Now putting it here. 3 into linear equation or you can say this is the objective function which is represented as Z. Okay. 3 into 1000 plus 5 into 500. What will be the value? 3000 plus 2500? 5500. Okay. Now here this is C point. Writing the value 3. Twenty four hundred plus three hundred is equals to five thousand four hundred. Okay, and next x one is equals to zero while x two is equals to six hundred. Okay, so this is equals to three thousand. These are the optimal value. These are the value of objective functions at the given corner points. For optimal solution, you have to see the question. In the question, we are having the maximization problem. In the question, we are having the maximization problem. So, which value of z is maximum? This value of z is maximum, which is at the corner point B. What are the corner points? Corner points is 1000 and 500. So, the answer is z equals to 5500 x1 is equals to 1000 and x2 is equals to 500 so this is the solution of the given graphical problem okay i think this will helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel thank you